A story I've told before, but never mind, it's true. And, and the old ones are the best. But it happened at, uh, in 1990 when uh, George Carey had been chosen but not yet appointed as Archbishop of Canterbury and I had been a, a chosen but not yet taken office as Chief Rabbi, that somebody discovered that we had something profound in common and that was our football team. Uh, both of us turned out to be, for our many sins, supporters of Arsenal. And somebody who discovered this came to both of us and asked whether we would like our first ecumenical gathering to be in his box in, as it was then, Highbury Stadium, uh, to which, I mean, a midweek match for obvious ecclesiastical reasons. So, um, and of course, both of us thought this was a wonderful idea, and we did indeed, in November 1990, uh, come together in this wonderful box at Highbury Stadium. Uh, it was a, an epiphany for both of us. Uh, we were taken down to meet the players. Um, we were taken onto the sacred earth itself, the, uh, the, the holy turf, uh, where we presented a check for charity and the loudspeakers around the ground announced that tonight uh, the new Archbishop of Canterbury and Chief Rabbi were there. And you could hear the buzz go around the ground, you know, whichever way you play the theological wager. That night, Arsenal had friends in high places. They couldn't possibly lose. That night, Arsenal went down to their worst home defeat in 63 years. They lost at home 6-2 to Manchester United. The next day, an English newspaper, I will not name it, had the following little note in its diary column. If the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Chief Rabbi between them cannot bring about a win for Arsenal, does this not finally prove that God does not exist? <laughs> the day after, they printed my reply, which went as follows. No, it actually proves that God exists. It's just that he supports Manchester United. <laughs>